It is the end of the year and Twin Motion is out with the old and with the new. I will be walking through and showcasing the preview of Twin Motion 2023.1 because I know you don't want to read through all those pages of new specs. So right away, familiar users of Twin Motion will know a difference. When you open up the application, you will be greeted with test templates and a new home screen. But the interesting thing is this might provide a lot of interesting possibilities in the future, like custom templates that you can share and use over time. You can save them and then come back and use them another time. Twinmotion has improved the saving file formats to make them better and cleaner. I'll do a quick overview, but I'll leave the specs here on the screen if you wanna know exactly what changed and improved. So the main result is better GPU performance, reduced VRAM consumption, and significant reduce in file size. So that means files will open faster and will save a lot faster and be able to uh, maneuver through them a lot quicker. Now we will go over some of the new updates in material in Twinmotion. In my opinion, Twinmotion has a better user interface when it comes to materials than most other rendering platforms like Lumion and Scape. It is really helpful to be able to apply materials to object instead of applying new materials and replacing all the existing material. There are many things I like about Twinmotion compared to Lumion, and I made a video comparing the two, and you can check it up here in the cards. So there are some new materials that were added in the new update, like fabric, leather, plastic, and metal. Now these were all existing, but there's new and different iterations of materials that you can use. These materials have been revamped as well as added a bunch of new materials. You can see that this new metal aluminum texture is pretty sick. And then the leather has these dimples and divots within them. And all these materials are just compiling a huge library that's already existing. As you can see, um, there's more than just these four materials. As we move on, there's more carpet materials and also this metal chain link material that as I zoom in, you can kind of see um, just the detail and attention to how that material would show up in a render, which is pretty awesome. With the carpet, you're able to actually adjust the length of strands and the height of the carpet tread, which is crazy because that's so realistic and just provides that next level of detail. These neon boxes, these light boxes are super cool and uh, you can change the color of these and these are just great. And so far, um, I've gone through just the basic materials, but make sure to download this new version so you can check out all the new materials that they added. I'm not going to go through every single one. But another thing they updated was the glass. And so they really worked on the opacity masking. And so this glass is super cool and how I added a reflection plane to make it reflect a little better, but they're creating a better use for tinted glass. So you can tint the glass, but you can also change the type from normal to colored. And so that's a lot different than just having a tinted glass. It's a lot stronger and more profound with the coloring of that glass. Now I'm just kind of going in and messing with a bunch of random settings in the glass that I just found as I was exploring. And that's, that's something I recommend. Just kind of going in and tinkering with different things, checking out what more options are provided than what I explained. Here I'm just checking out like an inverted setting in the glass, which is crazy, crazy cool, but I don't know if I ever see myself using it, but it's pretty sweet and just something that you'll pick up as you explore and work more in twin motion. So with the car paints, there's not a lot changed to the existing cars that you get from twin motion, but when you import cars from the Sketchfab library, you're able to go to materials and then the car paints folder, and you can apply these paints to the Sketchfab cars. And now these paints are super crazy. They're chromatic. They have all sorts of different patterns and schemes, a lot better than the, the basic twin motion cars and the colors that they give for those cars. You cannot use these car paints for 
the basic twin motion car models from my understanding. But anything you import from the Sketchpad library can be altered with these paints. Now I'm gonna put this car in another feature that was added to twin motion called the Cycloramas. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but basically it's like a studio environment slash backdrop. It's much more helpful for product design and not really architecture. But as you can see, it kind of creates a background and then you can add like an HDR studio lighting to it and it gives a great effect. And you can see it on the car and how the lighting is interacting with all these different car materials. I mean, I'm just really having fun just exploring all these different things. This car feature is really cool to me and I'm definitely gonna go crazy on some of the cars in my next project. You can find the Cycloramas option underneath tools in the library and they have different setups used for different purposes. Comment below what your major or desired profession is. I wanna see what kind of audience has made it this far. If there's a lot of people using twin motion for architecture or other fields. In that same tools tab, you can check out this LED wall, which at the moment is just showing a gradient pattern of different colors, but can really be used for a multitude of uses. The main primary is for videos and digital media that you may show on your building or just in general. You can actually change the angle of the LED wall. It comes in a slight convex shape, but you can alter it to be flat or concave as well. You can also change it to be more like a green screen or you can add a video to it. And these are all really cool features for more digital types of media. This brings me to the final point I wanted to touch on, which is OpenVR. They have made the update in Twinmotion to allow all VR headsets. They're all supported. And so when you're doing walkthroughs or sharing videos with clients or just people in general, you can use any type of headset. And just that VR feature is super cool in Twinmotion. As you can see in the video that I'm showing, you can edit materials, doors open automatically for you if you set them properly and just the whole way architecture is transitioning and how twin motion is using their rendering engine to benefit this industry. So as New Year's rolls around, let me know in the comments if there's any other software programs or updates that you want me to look at and what your favorite new feature of this twin motion update was. Now I'll leave you with a little motivation for the new year. Even though the new year is coming up, it is important not to use that as an excuse to wait on your goals. Start now, get moving on your dreams. Don't take today for granted. Thank you for watching guys and welcome to the grind.